Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to be getting back to the mobile linked open source Bluetooth TNC for APRS. There's been some very positive updates to the circuit board as well as the configuration software and we're going to go through those today. Rock and roll, let's get started. The first feature we'll cover is the auto power on and auto power off. This feature is especially useful for people who are using the mobile linked with a DC power source on a car or a motorcycle in a boat or with a solar panel, for example. The feature will automatically turn on the mobile linked TNC when DC power is detected on the USB port. This feature is also useful when power is restored after your mobile linked battery has died and you want the device to automatically turn on by itself once power has been restored. You can customize these settings yourself with the Android configuration utility. Noticeably absent from the new case is the push to talk selection switch, which has been moved to the configuration app. Having broken the push to talk selector switch on one of my mobile linked, uh, I'm really happy to see this feature implemented finally. So no more broken switches. And of course you can change the configuration through the app anytime you want. Finally, transistors in the push-to-talk circuit have been replaced with MOSFETs to reduce the possibilities of any latching, as well as to increase reliability of the board in general. What's really nice to see is the constant improvements to the mobile-linked uh, configuration app for Android. This magnificent app makes it possible to configure your mobile-linked TNC with the same device you're using for APRS. So it's an all-in-one solution. There's no more any need for a desktop PC to configure your mobile linked TNC. You can do everything from your mobile phone. I think this is a brilliant effort from uh, mobile linked. And just to say something about mobile linked, this isn't some far away faceless company someplace. These are amateur radio operators who've come together to present something open source to the world. That's brilliant. The least we can do as radio operators is support this open source initiative. All right, it's time to lock down this video, guys. There's been lots of small changes to the mobile linked TNC2, and probably far too many to showcase here, but all of these changes help to increase the reliability and usability of the product. I think I'm going to follow up this video and show you several use cases about using the mobile linked Bluetooth TNC. Uh, under Android for MAM portable operations. Quite often, many of us fail to see the usefulness of a dedicated APRS KISS TNC for data mode operations. But I think it's time to introduce you to the possibilities of using APRS with this mobile linked Bluetooth TNC for emergency communications, for survival communications, disaster communications, and a variety of other things. If you keep an open mind, I'll show you some really cool ways of using this device. All right, guys, if you happen to order the mobile linked, please let uh, the mobile linked guys know where you learned about this device. Say hello from Survival Tech Nord. And with that, if you found this interesting or entertaining, please give a thumbs up, share and let people know what we're doing with this channel. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.